Hey Renee, what's Apple doing to get trash out of the ocean? I want to know. So many things, Jimmy. Please educate us. Thanks to CuriosityStream for donating the sponsor time for this video so we can talk about Apple, the environment, and yeah, Team Seas. The goal of Team Seas is to remove 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean. Probably the craziest thing we've ever attempted. Which means we're trying to raise $30 million by the end of the year. Our oceans, our rivers, our beaches are filled with plastic trash. Pollution from plastic has created a massive health crisis. And no, there's no conspiracy theory here. No one is lying about our water supplies looking like Jake Peralta's locker. God, I should have guessed that. Just so Apple can switch from plastic to paper wrappers and ruin our ASMR unboxing fun. Or Tim Cook can come to your house and rip the AC adapter from your cold dead iPhone. If anything, the conspiracy is in keeping us in denial. So there'll be just less competition for those sparse resources in a future Kingsman movie. Nobody told me to try and save the planet. The point is one person, one movement, one action can make a difference. And I'll get to just exactly how in a Mr. Beast minute, but also it can't be up to just us, just individuals. Companies can't keep abdicating their responsibilities by telling us to recycle without any plan, any strategy behind it. And governments can't just wanna regulate USB plugs because it's easier and more politically expedient than tackling the mega polluters in their own backyards, our backyards, off our coasts. No, it has to be the mega corporations as well, including and especially the biggest, like Apple. So what are they doing? I'm dying to know. The braided solo loop. It's made from 100% recycled yarn. These antenna lines use upcycled plastic water bottles. We redesigned the packaging to eliminate the outer plastic wrap, saving 600 metric tons of plastic. This brings us closer to our goal of completely removing plastic from all of our packaging. iPhone uses 100% recycled rare earth elements and magnets and 100% recycled tin in the solder of the main logic board. The enclosure is made with 100% recycled aluminum, which brings us a step closer to our goal of using only recyclable and renewable materials. And it is free of numerous harmful substances, manufactured using even more renewable energy. By 2030, we plan to have net zero climate impact across our entire business including our manufacturing supply chain and all product life cycles. Now, here's exactly where you and me and all of us can help. Thanks to Mr. Beast, Jimmy Donaldson, and Mark Rober, former NASA and Apple engineer, we've got thousands of creators coming together, basically the biggest and best team up in the history of YouTube and Nebula to raise $30 million to clean 30 million pounds of plastic and trash out of the oceans and rivers. Here's how it works. For every $1 donated, this much trash comes out of the ocean. And for $5, this much trash comes out of the ocean. To accomplish this, we have a three-prong approach. For the beaches and oceans, the best nonprofit, hands down, is the Ocean Conservancy. They're gonna use half the money we raise to organize massive volunteer beach cleanups, as well as go out to sea to clean up some of the existing trash. And then the other half of the money will go to the Ocean Cleanup and UN, and they're gonna focus on the rivers, because 80% of the plastic that flows to the ocean comes from only 1% of the rivers in the world. Now, if you're at all worried about any of the methods or organizations, I've personally been involved in a couple of weeks of discussions over all of them. I've seen the best objections and concerns from the brightest people, and all of them have been addressed by the organizers with consistent thoughtfulness and all the weight a campaign of this size can bring to bear to supervise, to audit, to ensure every single penny is spent in the absolute best way possible. So yeah, that's it. Every $1 donated results in one pound of trash being removed from our rivers, our oceans. And if that sounds like a lot to you, that's fantastic. Please donate a lot, as much as you can to help us reach our goal. If it sounds like a drop in the ocean, then yes, this is a huge problem, but it's also a huge start. Not just a way to inform, but to inspire everyone to do more, way, way more. So please, Go to teamseas.org where you can contribute and see just how much progress we can make when we work together. That's teamseas.org. Thanks again to CuriosityStream and thanks to all of you for your support. See you in the next video.